Hi students, this time we have come with a topic of your interest which you want to know from a very long time. How to overcome your fear of maths. So in this session we have people who are subject experts in mathematics and we are here to solve the problem of fear of maths. So let's introduce them. We have Mr. Jha who is the HOD of DPS school and we have Mr. Mangar who is the maths teacher of Army Public School. So they are the subject experts here and they are going to give you the solution to the problem that you are facing presently. Why do you fear the subject's maths? So I would like to start with Mr. Jha. Sir, can you please tell the students why do they fear the subject as a subject you know like all the subjects like we talk about English and all they are like ha huh, English will be done but when they come to maths they specifically fear maths how to do it so can you please yes. tell them like why do they have this mindset good morning students actually this fear of maths is created from the very beginning and uh, this is created by the like the parents our relatives even the teachers because from the beginning we are always keep on telling the child please give time on maths please do practice please do practice in a day at least 10 to 15 times we used to tell them please do maths please do maths and that is what happening we are telling them in a positive way but this is creating a negative impression in their mind very true and this is taking them away from the subject they are going far far away from the subject and they have the disinterest and disrespect for the subjects and indirectly the phobia is created for the subject so i request the parents even the teachers even all the members and the relatives ki please don't force don't force and don't tell just tell them ki go for studies study all the subjects sometime in between you just can tell what you have done in maths please show me even as a parent you don't know maths but tell them to please show your maths copy this all thing you can you can check and you can do and appreciate even even the child has done mistakes or has done the wrong sum but instead of telling ki you are you are fail you are fail you have not done this subject tell them ki no it is okay fine keep it on our duty is to motivate the child not to demotivate so all these factors uh, we have to tell them and then they will become good in the subject they have the respect for the subject they will have the interest for the subject and then definitely the phobia factor will go away from them and then definitely they can do well in the subject a That's wonderful uh, viewpoint led by you sir like you. the subject is actually being uh, portrayed in front of you in such a way students that the subject itself becomes a big hurdle for you it is not the mindset that you have set now it's not only you who is responsible setting up that mindset i agree with you and uh, i request the parents the friends and uh, peers everybody the teachers around to start telling the students that is not a difficult subject because what we speak we don't know how many times it can hurt somebody and how many times it can ruin one's mindset so a positive thought can always create a positive thought so if you yourself think that this subject is difficult and we are uttering the word being difficult then automatically what is being registered in the mind of the students is difficult so we have to first change this setup by awareing this fact among the students that it is not difficult so students this is the first step that we have taken start believing as the subject expert himself says the subject is like the other subjects it's not a difficult subject so please understand this from now only and now we are moving on to mr munger and i would like to ask sir that sir can you please uh, tell the students how the subject is simple how the subject can be one of the most simplest subjects if you take into account hello good morning uh, dear students uh, <clears throat> in mathematics suppose in the class teachers is teaching in the classroom and whatever they haven't understood or whatever you haven't understood 
at least you have to ask the questions and don't carry the problems in your mindset and going back to the home so better you can solve the problems in the classroom only and if they are not going to solve the problems in the classroom and they are carrying their problems to home the problems so due to that one so there the steps building that that will be the problem okay in mathematics mathematics is a cumulative form they have to learn day by day suppose uh, they have exams after one month so they haven't done the whole year throughout the year they haven't practiced anything but they have one month time and they have to face the exams so within one month they cannot do anything so better than that they have to build from the beginning they have to do the work from the beginning because mathematics is a cumulative form okay suppose i don't know anything so i have gone to the class 10 i am taking maths so i can't do anything because i don't know plus minus multiplication all this thing and those are in the class 11 and 12 and for them the base should be cleared and i have seen in the classroom many students they have carried the problems and they are not going to speak to the teachers and they are keeping in their mind day by day it is going to be pile up due to that one the subject is going to be difficult so better than that you can speak to the teachers express even if you are not able to do if you are not able to ask to the teachers better than that you can ask to your friends also those have done that this one so according to that one they can clear the concept. so in this one month how can they cope up with the problem like this is one month that they have in hand so yeah. there are many like majority if we see like our students body is such majority will be you know have piled it up mm -hmm. now what can be the simple solution to you know having them uh, this boards cleared with good marks okay uh, suppose uh, they are preparing for the uh, board exams at first they have they have to see the blueprint of the the question paper okay. so uh, from that they will get the idea at least what what kind of questions they will get mm -hmm. suppose in the cbsc we have the uh, four sections a b c and d in the questions paper in the section a we are getting only four questions from where we are getting at least we will get the idea from the bl blueprint like uh, section b we are getting four marks question uh, two marks question as well as section c four marks question and section d we are getting six marks questions in the cbsc board so if we are going to analyze this it was the uh, blueprint so we will get the idea like uh, so uh, uh, we know that one the, the area of the boundary region from the every year we are getting six marks questions so they can select the topics the area from where we will get the definitely the questions in the board exams so due to that one they can uh, cope up the things within the one month and it will be easy okay means they have to do that selective form selective study. format to study okay so like could you all please highlight on the areas which uh, could be you know taken care of during this board for you know at least uh, for the ones who are very weak at least they can pass or the ones who are uh, average students they can at least get you know average marks uh, attained by them uh, like 60 70 or even if uh, this one month if they put in their 100 percent like maybe they haven't put in anything but if they put in 100 percent now like how can they score 90 like how what can be done like by which they can score 90 would you like to please highlight on that points like points which can help them and motivate them to at least now okay i have been sleeping for the rest of my life yeah. but now this one month i can give my best and attain 90 what can be done for that is there any solution to that what i suggest uh, the student those who are below average or the average students mm -hmm. the first tip for them is that they should practically throw away all the books NCRT, the book which is prescribed by the CBSE should be the prime books on their desk and they should be going through only NCRT books. Now if they are very weak, then what they should do in NCRT also they should first select some topics like topics like they should go for uh, this uh, LPP sum and from LPP basically they should give a stretch on manufacturing problem. Then uh, in probability they should go for base theorem then application of uh, derivative is one of the important chapter from there every year the board is asking 11 marks questions 1 plus 4 plus 6 and then application of integration or area boundary regions from there particularly area of triangle questions how to find area of triangle using the integration so that is the most important things and from the beginning like matrix and determinant is the easy topic for everyone because that is algebra and everybody likes that so i request first they should complete these many topics 
if they are completing this they will be thorough through the cbsc means they will pass cbsc they will get more than 33 near about 40 marks they will get now come to the point those who wants to get uh, the marks in between 60 to 75 what i request them ki after completing all this they should be going through the examples of ncrt all the examples they should not leave a single example of ncrt right and then at the same time they should be solving some of the sample paper test paper any sample paper or test paper they can go for that and uh, they should make a routine at least per week still they have near about three weeks time so in three weeks at least per week if they are solving one sample paper so they are able to finish three sample papers before the examinations so that will give them an idea ki how many sections are there in the questions paper how many questions are there what is the weightage of the questions and this all they can do that and uh, finally those who are the brilliant child or the good child but they are very lazy as ma'am told <laughs> so they now have to become very crazy for the subject if really they want to score more than 90 or wants to become topper in the subject so i tell them ki they have to give some more time for the subject because till date they were lazy so now they should start at least two or three hours in a day particularly for the subject maths and they should start in a like a topic wise like first they should complete algebra sector from where matrix and determinant is there then they should come for relation and function topics after that they should follow continuity and differentiability and uh, included with that application of derivative and then part one will be done from part one more or less it contains about 46 marks so 46 marks will be completed from part one then the remaining they have to switch off over to the second part part two so in part two they should start with integrations and then in integration also they should focus on like method of substitution we have some integrations integration by partial fractions then integration as a limit of a sum so these are the some important type of sum they should practice even one question board always ask on properties properties of definite integrations and surely this time in 2018 also once your question question is going to come from properties of definite integrations then they should go for the next topic that is area bounded region that is nothing but the application of integrations in that i will tell the bright child to focus on basically particularly two topics one is uh, uh, area of uh, triangle using integration method and second is area bounded by the curves it may be like circle circle or maybe circle ellipse. parabola maybe circle, circle ellipse and so on so these two topics if they are completing they will be able to finish the integration part all together integration carrying near about 21 to 22 marks so in this way they are finishing 46 plus 22 that means near about 68 marks then they should go for uh, differential equations from their uh, six marks questions will come and then they should uh, go for lpp particularly manufacturing questions six marks question will come from there then uh, probability from probability one six marks question from base theorems and one four marks questions from like binomial distributions probability distributions these are the two important topics binomial and probability distributions so in this way they are covering 68 plus 6 74 plus 10 84 now remaining near about whatever marks left 16 marks for that it is actually 17 marks from vectors and 3d geometry now in vectors and 3d geometry they should focus on how to find the angle between the lines between the planes at the same time the shortest distance between the two lines that shortest distance formula and then uh, equation of plane passing through the intersection of the planes that is the most important question for 2018 yes. you find the equation of the plane passing through the intersection of two planes and perpendicular to some other plane so in this way they can score 90 plus so that's all so still time is there i tell everyone Leave up your laziness and everything and you just start and NCRT should be the prime book on the desk for everybody for board examination and at the same time prepare some sample paper. That's all. So that was just, just a flawless uh, way of covering entire board exam for this 2018 in the subject of your maths. Now, after hearing the tips from Mr. Jha, I don't think students there is any other way for you to look for excuses that why I can't start now and what are the areas where I should you know focus in and what book I should be following. Students I'll just give you one example over here I'll agree with Mr. Jha. 
you have to understand that when you get too many books in the market it is like a product which is being sold right so if somebody is promoting a book you have to understand this also that there is a certain reason why they are promoting the book so if somebody is saying the book is too good that does not mean the book is too good it's same like you are buying clothes in the market right. so there are n number of brands available you can go for adidas nike and n number of other brands but which one will you prefer